Xbox Games with Gold lineup for December 2018 was revealed today by Microsoft. And I have a feeling most people out there aren't going to like what they get for the month. Two indie titles on the Xbox One side, a game from the vault of EA Access, and an OG Xbox game. I don't know. What's going on guys? Randall Thor 19 the man with a million, back again with another video. So here's the games of gold for December 2018. Now, I've actually played all of these games. I'm gonna give my opinion on it. And at first glance, I really do think people will see the lineup and be like, this is one of the worst months in games with gold history. And while I can't really argue that if you're looking for big AAA experiences, you won't find it here, but a couple of these games are actually quite good. Now, first up, you have Cube 2, normally 25 bucks. You'll be able to get that on the Xbox One between December 1st and December 31st. You'll also be able to get Never Alone, the other game on the Xbox One. $15 normally goes for, and that'll be available December 16th to January 15th. And on the 360, you have Dragon Age 2, which normally retails for $10, available December 1st to the 15th. And Mercenaries Playgrounds of Destruction normally going for $10, an OG Xbox title, which will be available December 16th to December 31st. Now I actually like Cube 2 quite a bit. I have a review up on the channel. It's a really interesting puzzle game, and this is what the website says about the title. In this mysterious puzzler, you awaken in the ruins of an ancient alien landscape with no memory of how or why you got there. Navigate through mind-bending puzzles and use your manipulation gloves to change the structure of the world to find your way back home. As you explore, you'll face thought-provoking questions of your true purpose with the devastating truth that will shake your world. It actually has really interesting puzzles. And yes, it's a sequel to the original Cube, but it's better in every way. Uh, the thing that kind of kept me going with the Cube 2 was how the puzzles constantly change and evolve and then crescendos at the end where you actually have to use everything you've learned and every different type of puzzle uh, to get through. I really enjoyed it. In fact, I think I gave it an eight out of 10. It is a really good indie title, but the fact that it's the headliner for games of gold, this is why people are going to look at this month and say it is absolutely terrible. Cube 2 is great on its own as like an ancillary or a supporting game, but not as like the star of the show. Moving on, we have Never Alone. Delve into the rich lore and culture of the Inuput people in this unique adventure game. Nominated for multiple awards and built in partnership with the Alaska Native community, play as a young Inuput girl and Arctic fox to find the source of the eternal blizzard, which threatens everything. Encounter traditional native characters, share their wisdom and stories, and experience a game like no other. The game's pretty unique. Um, it's a side-scrolling game in the vein of, say, Limbo or Inside, and it tells a really interesting story. The game came out a couple years ago. Obviously, it's about, like, an Alaskan uh, tribe or girl. And, I mean, it's worth playing through. I think it. I think the game was quite fun. I don't have a video up on my channel because this game came out before my channel really existed or I was making videos. I actually really liked it. And if I were to give it a score, I'd probably give it a 7.5 or an 8. Damn good game. But when your two Xbox One titles are two indie titles, one from like two and a half, three years ago, and one from this year, I don't think these really appeal to the vast majority of people who are looking for games with gold. Uh, especially like, hey, you know, they want they want last month. Last month, people seemed to like. They wanted Battlefield 1, right? The big AAA game from EA. They want something from Microsoft, a big AAA game. So, yeah, Never Alone, while a good game on its own, definitely when you pair it with another indie game, I think people will just be immensely disappointed. And then we move on to the 360. We have Dragon Age 2. Experience an epic adventure in an ever-changing world in Dragon Age 2. Taking place over the course of a decade, mold your character Hawk from a destitute 
destitute refugee to the revered champion of Kirkwall. Gather the deadliest of allies, amass fame and fortune, and seal your place in history. The legend of your rise to power begins now. Now, I wish it was the original Dragon Age, because that game is way better than Dragon Age 2. Most people, if you look at it, really prefer Dragon Age 1 over Dragon Age 2. This is where like EA tried to turn Dragon Age 2 into like a awesome uh, game where like every button press you do something absolutely amazing. Not saying that Dragon Age 2 doesn't have its fans, of course it does. But this is another example of Microsoft and I don't know how they put together these deals, right? These things could all have been locked up months ago, but this is a game that is in EA Access, in the vault. You know, it's been in there for a long time. And EA only charges $30 a year, $5 a month to get access to all that stuff. So when I see them kind of double dip, so to speak, and just give a game that's already part of another subscription service, especially a game on the 360, I just kind of like, man, they really didn't have anything to offer in December which is a shame. And I know a lot of people will say, you know what, Rand, I'm fine with not getting a lot of cool stuff. I have all my games I bought from September, October, November, and December. Uh, my backlog is full. I don't really need to add to it. And yeah, that's a valid argument for sure. I know if you're out there playing Battlefield 5 and Red Dead Online, or still trying to get through the single player of Red Dead, you know, maybe, you're starting up Spider-Man or playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Maybe you bought a whole bunch of games during Xbox's Black Friday sale and you're like, you wanna experience that. So it's really no big deal that Xbox Games of Gold for December is uh, lackluster in every way. And that's fine. But just keep in mind, these aren't really free games. You know what I mean? Like we do pay for these with our subscription. Now, how many people out there actually subscribe to Xbox Live to get these gold games and not actually to be able to experience the multiplayer or chat with their friends in party chat. I would love to see those numbers. In fact, if you're in still listening to this video, let me know if you subscribe to Xbox Live Gold and why do you subscribe to it? Do you subscribe to it because you want to play the multiplayer of all these AAA games that come out? Do you want to talk to your friends in party chat? Or do you do it to get these free games? Because I'm kind of curious of the breakdown. I would imagine virtually nobody would subscribe just for these games. Because, quite frankly, even though they'll come out and tell you, oh man, it's intense competition, fast-paced fun, and there's $60 in value with 3,000 you know, gamer score, and at the end of the year, they'll be like, Microsoft gave away $3,000 worth of games and games of gold. It's like, but all those games are really old. Nobody's really buying anymore, you know? Do anybody really subscribe for that? Let me know if you actually subscribe to Xbox Live Gold for that reason. I'd be very curious to see people's responses because I can't imagine, I can't imagine a lot of people do. And that brings us to the last game, Mercenaries Playground of Destruction. An OG Xbox title, and I'm kind of surprised to see this. Normally you get two Xbox One titles and two 360 games. But this month, you get one 360 game and one original Xbox game. And I thought to myself, well, maybe that's how they're going to do it in the future. Maybe it'll just be two Xbox One titles, one 360 game, and then an Xbox OG game. But there's not a lot of Xbox OG games to really do that. Uh, there's not as many back and pat uh, titles as there are on their 360. But anyways, Mercenaries says, anything goes in this classic action title. Your mission is to topple a sinister military regime by any means necessary. If it drives or flies, hijack it. If it shoots or explodes, use it as a weapon. In this playground of destruction, there are no limits and no mercy. It's actually a pretty fun uh, game. Uh, I really enjoyed it back on the OG Xbox. I enjoyed the sequel, Mercenaries 2, when it came out to the 360. It's too bad that studio had to shut down, as those games were quite enjoyable. But I do have to wonder why they're offering this game. Could they not get another 360 title, right? They have plenty to choose from. Like, why Mercenaries Playground of Destruction? I don't know. But if you're taking my advice, I would definitely download Cube 2. It's a first-person puzzle game that's actually really good. 
um, play that out of all of these four and maybe check out Never Alone. Uh, it does have an enjoyable moments, but I don't think it's for everybody. So Cube 2 is the one to pick. Anyways, guys, that is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the games of gold in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Share this out on Twitter and social media. I'd greatly appreciate that. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Hit that notification bell if you always want to be notified when I drop new content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Later, guys.